DJI is back in the spotlight with the NEO 2, a tiny drone that is now much more sophisticated than its predecessor. With a lightweight design and increasingly mature technology, the NEO 2 offers a more exciting and safer flying experience for everyone, including beginners. Based on various sources, here is a complete review of the DJI NEO 2 that you need to know. In terms of appearance, the DJI NEO 2 retains the concept of a pocket drone that is easy to carry anywhere. It has a compact shape with full propeller guards and materials that feel sturdy when held. It weighs only 151 grams without the O4 module, so it is still relatively light and not subject to many registration rules in various countries. Despite its small size, DJI has added protection to the front and reinforced the frame so that minor impacts do not immediately cause damage. Changes are also evident in its style and color. The Neo 2 now comes in a more professional-looking gray with a smoother finish. The triangular truss guard design makes it even more distinctive and provides additional safety features. The guard, which is integrated with the body, not only enhances the design but also gives novice users more confidence when flying the drone in narrow areas or indoors, as the propellers remain safely protected. One of the most noticeable improvements in the DJI Mini 2 is the small screen on the front. This screen displays the recording status, the mode currently in use, and even a countdown when Smart Selfie is active. The LED indicator is now in a more strategic position as it is easily visible from the front, allowing you to know when the drone starts recording without having to guess. The body features physical buttons for switching modes and adjusting important settings without having to open the DJI Fly app. The combination of the screen and buttons makes operation feel more practical. You can turn on the drone, set the distance for master shots or smart selfie, and launch it via palm takeoff. For vlogging or creating family content, the Mini 2 is truly reliable without needing a remote or phone. <laughs> The DJI NEO 2 comes with major improvements to its flight and safety systems. This drone is equipped with omnidirectional obstacle sensing that combines 360-degree monocular vision, front-facing LiDAR, and infrared sensors underneath. This combination creates a kind of shield around the drone that automatically slows it down or stops it when it approaches obstacles, such as walls, poles, or trees. This feature also supports a smarter follow mode because the drone can follow from eight different directions and automatically adjust the viewing angle when space becomes narrow. As a result, novice users can fly more calmly, while creators can get stable images even in difficult areas. Its performance is also more powerful. The NEO 2 can follow subjects at speeds of up to 12 meters per second with a faster ascent of around 5 meters per second. Its wind resistance now reaches level 5, so the drone remains stable in windy areas, such as beaches. For users who want longer range and precise control, the O4 module can be attached to make it compatible with RCN3 or RC2. Without the module, the drone can be used directly via Wi-Fi connection for a fast and practical flying experience. For an FPV-style flying experience, the NEO 2 can also be paired with the Motion Controller 3 and N3 goggles for an exciting and responsive low-altitude flying experience. The DJI NEO 2 brings major improvements in terms of camera and gimbal. This drone uses a half-inch 12-megapixel sensor with an f2.2 aperture that is capable of producing more natural colors and smoother noise. 
For video, there are 4K 60fps options for smooth motion and 4K 200fps for high-quality slow motion. Users who often create vertical content will also be pleased because the Neo 2 supports a 2.7K vertical mode that is much sharper than the previous version. In addition, the stabilization system now uses a dual-axis mechanical gimbal that reduces vibration when the drone is moving fast. As a result, recordings look more stable and natural, even when flown in windy conditions or when performing sharp maneuvers. The automatic shooting feature is also more advanced. Smart Selfie allows users to choose the type of framing, such as upper body, full body, or wide group, and the drone will then adjust the composition and start recording independently. Gesture Control is now more responsive as it can recognize hand movements to adjust direction or distance, while voice commands remain available for those who want quick control via their phone. All these features make the recording process much easier and more practical, suitable for solo travelers, families, or anyone who wants professional quality results without needing an additional operator. The DJI Neo 2 now comes with a large 49GB internal storage capacity enough to hold several 4K videos without the need for an additional card. Transferring files to your phone is also much faster, as it supports speeds of up to 80 megabytes per second via Wi-Fi. If needed, users can still transfer files via the USB-C port. For control, this drone offers three different options. You can operate it directly without a remote control using the screen and physical buttons, use the DJI Fly app via Wi-Fi, or connect it to the O4 module for RCN3, RC2, Motion Controller 3, and Goggles N3 support. This modular approach makes the Neo 2 flexible to use, whether you're a beginner looking for convenience or a creator seeking professional results. Image processing and flight control performance have also seen significant improvements. Although DJI does not mention the specific chipset name, the color processing results look more mature and natural thanks to the application of color science from the latest Mini line. Computational photography technology helps produce more balanced skin tones and lighting in various conditions, including in the afternoon or indoors. The sensing system, which combines vision, LiDAR, and infrared, also improves stability when the drone is hovering in difficult areas, such as near walls or above water surfaces. The tracking feature is now more precise with an eight-way compass, which is usually only found in DJI's mid-range series. The DJI Neo 2's 1606 milliamp hour battery provides up to 19 minutes of flight time, although in actual use it usually lasts around 12 to 16 minutes, depending on wind conditions and flying style. Its power management system is now more stable, ensuring that battery performance remains strong until the end of the flight. The Fly More package includes a charging hub that can charge three batteries alternately, as well as a two-way charging feature that allows the battery to be used as a power bank with up to 10 watts of power. For longer activities, carrying three batteries is the most ideal option, as it provides a total flight time of around 45 to 50 minutes. This combination is perfect for fast-paced activities like vlogging, cycling, trail running, or family moments during vacations. DJI designed the Neo 2 to support the shoot, record, upload workflow without lengthy battery recharging times. DJI Neo 2 comes with several package options that can be tailored to user needs. Standard version, around 1499 yuan Chinese yen or approximately 197 US dollars, includes the drone, one battery, and propeller guards. Fly more, without remote, around 1999 Chinese yuan or approximately 263 US dollars with three additional batteries and a charging hub.
Fly More Plus RCN304 module, approximately 2499 Chinese yuan or 239 US dollars for longer transmission range. Motion Fly More, complete package, approximately 3699 yuan or 484 US dollars, includes N3 goggles and motion controller 3 for a more immersive FPV experience. Globally, the DJI NEO 2 is likely to be sold in the range of 200 to 280 US dollars, depending on the package and accessories chosen. For the Indonesian market, the price may be slightly higher due to import taxes, distribution costs, and applicable drone regulations. DJI began sales of the NEO 2 in China and plans a phased rollout to global markets. Europe is expected to receive its shipment in mid-November, while the United States is still awaiting regulatory confirmation. However, no official schedule has been announced for Indonesia, so availability remains uncertain. Mm -hmm.